When life hands you lemons, say thank you and use them to do a whole bunch of science. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to D News today. I'm Trace. A little while ago, we did a D News lab where we created a battery with lemons. It was really cool. But then we had a bunch of extra lemons around, so we thought, what else can you use these for? Turns out, quite a lot. Lemons contain citric acid, a weak organic acid that acts as a preservative. With a pH of 2.2, citric acid has a lot of hydrogen ions all over in there. Aside from making a pretty awesome battery, the food industry uses sodium citrate, a salt derivative of citric acid, all the time. It's called sour salt, and it gives club soda both its sour and salty flavors. When added to foods, sour salt can lower the acidity, changing the consistency, and like other salts, add to shelf life. Magically, Okay, scientifically. When added to regular old cheese, this citric acid derivative lets melted cheese create an emulsion with water or beer or whatever. Emulsions are minute droplets of one thing suspended in another thing without clumping back together. Basically, you can make the best nacho cheese ever at home. In 1916, James L. Kraft figured all this out while creating the chemistry for American cheese. To put it simply, a bit of beer, a bit of sodium citrate, and a bit of your favorite cheese has this homemade nacho cheese sauce. You can make it, you can eat it. Tweet me if you do that though, because I wanna see it. It looks awesome. Lemons aren't just for eating though. Human hair is made of a protein called keratin, and it normally is moisturized by oil coming from the hair root. Sometimes, especially with long hair, the shafts can dry out. And then you can mess with it with a little bit of chemistry. Kid Trace liked doing experiments and as you might guess, had very little fashion sense. Adding lemon juice to hair oxidizes just like the rust on a bike. So hair loves moisture and lemon juice is moisture, among other things. But when combined with oxygen from the air and UV energy from the sun, the citric acid causes weak bleaching of hair. Unfortunately, also dries the hair out more. So if you do this, make sure you deep condition it and get some new moisture back in there. But it's a cheap way and an easy way to lighten your hair. If you wanna go even more hardcore, grab those lemons and use them to polish your stainless steel pots and pans, the chrome on the bumpers of a car or faucets, even silver, copper, or the brass on your aunt's tuba. You know, if your aunt has a tuba. It requires various mixers, but the citric acid removes the tarnish from all sorts of metal. There's more acid in the rind than the juice and you don't get all of the sugars. So slapping a lemon rind onto a chrome bumper and rubbing it will restore its shine. Crazy. I mean, sure, you could just make lemonade. You're into that sort of thing. But if someone hands you lemons, why don't you go make yourself some cleaners, emulsions, and batteries? And as long as you're thinking outside of the box, Toyota is fueling the future with the new Toyota Mirai. Using the most abundant element in the universe, hydrogen, the new Mirai is looking into the future with sustainability in mind. If you wanna see how we use the majority of our lemons to make a cool ass battery, check out this video right here. So you're gonna insert a penny into the cut on one side of a lemon. Come on, Julia, that's a... I'm... Yeah! And if you have other science experiment ideas that you wanna share with us, we got a comment section, go use it. Thanks for watching.